Hi, I'm Franny. A few years ago, I introduced the Festival of Neighborhood Plays in Acton. That performance was a performance of Macbeth in a multi-generational cast, which we put on in our neighborhood in West Acton. Now we have put on a homegrown musical written by a family in South Acton. This present entry into the Festival of Neighborhood Plays is called Goldie. We're sharing it with you in the hopes that you and your neighbors will produce a neighborhood play. It's really a lot of fun creating productions with your neighbors of all ages. I'm going to have the director of this play and the co-writer talk about Goldie. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gabby King-Morse. And I'm Tina Madeira and we are two of the contributors to Goldie, but I'm gonna take you back to how it all started. And just like everyone else across the country, we were obsessed with Hamilton. Who is not obsessed with Hamilton? And so of course, we thought, well, how, how, how would you write a musical? How would you? Well, do you know now? So now we know, <laughs> and you're gonna see it. So we started with a story, we took the story, we started to write songs, we were having so much fun, but then we really needed more creative people to join us. And so we were really excited to be called in and we got together with our neighborhood and um, Gabby um, left so much room for people to really inhabit their characters and to create, we, there were lots of little teams of different groups of characters that then needed to interact and there was a lot of room for people to step in and make it their own. So we hope that you really enjoy this, this uh, showing. It's a world premiere of Goldie. It is. Uh, so, we, so thanks for watching yeah. and uh, we hope you might jump in and try to do something yourself.
have a live coach the first time for any of you. Not only do we have a 13 year old who will be accompanying us all live tonight at the piano, but it's all stuff that he wrote. Title, 
And then, believe you me, before the week is out, we will have enough detail to spin this into newspaper headlines. Probably a bestseller. Maybe a Pulitzer. I can taste it. Yeah, we know how this story goes. Hit it, boys!
me out here this time.
I can eat our porridge. I know mine will be just right. And I don't want to miss that perfect moment when the spoon enters your mouth. And it's all creamy with just a bit of honey in that perfect splash of cream. Oh, baby, man. Oh, just after touching. <laughs> yes, yes, Mom, but you know what happens if you don't get your porridge right at that perfect moment. Even you said it yourself. Porridge is a very personal thing, and no one should ever tell you how or when you should eat your porridge. Uh, son, uh, your porridge can wait. Don't worry. Porridge can wait. It's time to enjoy the moment. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to go inside and look for the Tai Chi headbands, and you guys go and get started. Okay. Bye. Okay. Now, everyone, what do you do? Oh, 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 excuse me, miss. No. No. Excuse me, miss, no. is there something I can do Not again. to help you? Oh, this mess. 
so easy to replace. Easy to replace? Yes. What? Need? What? What I really need is a time travel machine. So I'm going to go back in time and stop this terrible crime. Yes, it's a terrible, horrible, nasty crime when we are doing absolutely nothing. My boo boo bee bee ba ba bear is in pain. And I was just about to show him the finer points of eating porridge at the moment of his absolute righteousness. When the spoon enters your mouth and it's all creamy and get the cavalry, get the police, anything. I will even settle for an angry Uber driver with a thirst for revenge. <laughs> Well? Well? Sing! 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 Sing!
So wait a minute. Yeah. Well, you guys were going to go on your honey party, right? That's right. You were going to leave. Oh, yes. Look, wait a minute. No, no, we've got to go. Let me get this straight. You said this gold girl came in. All your stuff was broken. You saw her run out. And then you're going to do nothing? Dude, you need to tell your story. People need to know the facts. <coughs> Truth and justice need to be served. What if she has a different story? She's telling it right now to bovine media. Oh, don't worry oh, about our on. story. Our story? How about my story? Can I tell my story here? I'm the only one whose toys are broken. Who do I tell? Well, if you want to start, you could start by telling it to the police. Then you could tell it to the courts. You might even tell it to the media. Would they listen to me? Well, you're a perfect voice the public would love to listen to. Cute, fuzzy, baby bear. Well, I could imagine you'd be a perfect witness to put in front of a judge and a jury. Oh, wait. What? You mean talk in front of people? Yeah. A whole bunch of people? I, I don't think I can do that. I mean, you know, I can talk. I mean, you know, I can ramble. I mean, you know, I can do you know, it. Yeah. Look, it's not that hard. Hey, why don't we try it right now? Right now? Yeah. Okay, okay. we'll get ready. Take three deep breaths. And puff! And... Whoa. I don't know what came over. <laughs> oh, that's a weird. You know how to deep breathe, right? Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's start again. I'll just ask you some simple questions. You keep your answers direct to the point. Mom and Papa will act as judge as jury for us. We'll just pretend, okay? Ready? Baby Ben, tell me about yourself. You know, I come from a very, very family, and when you've gotten yourself into a hairy situation and you don't know all the transcripts, all you need to do is compare it to a lot of these dictionaries and stuff that they seem fine. Uh, okay, that was very interesting. And sometimes when you're feeling blue and everything's going against you, what I like to do, or like to try, is sit in the corner and cry. Why, 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 you know, I really do try, try, try. Baby bear. But I'm experiencing when all the cards go bad, <laughs> like exasperated into a general space and I just trail off into the distance and think about my life. <laughs> Baby bear? Why, why, why? Maybe that's not very inspiring, but really you try. So the course of action is very simplistic. All you need to do is not let the others in your group or her go ballistic. Eleven use dictionary works too. And then suddenly you're fine, fine, fine. And they keep telling me I'm fine, fine, fine. Oh, fine, 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 fine. And all I can do is panic and think about the dime that I spent at the corner store when I really should have spent a quarter at the corner store. And all of a sudden I'm standing in front of all you people. You know, I really do try, try, try. Okay, baby. <laughs> Great start. Um, <laughs> Why don't I try to keep my questions a little simple? Why don't you tell us what happened this morning when you came back from your walk? Yes. Came back to the house for my daily porridge snack. Now we're on track. You know how much I love porridge. It's more like a porridge attack. What? Yeah. Suddenly this golden hero girl came flying through the window like Superman. But she wasn't Superman. She wasn't a man. Not only that, she didn't have that mess on her chest. She's more like evil character than Superman battles, but maybe for the best, and I'll tell you the rest. <laughs> You're such a cute kid, but uh, maybe, uh, in second thought, maybe we won't put you on the stand. <laughs>
have, like say happy songs. Happy songs. Happy songs. But bye bye. Be going. good for Alexander. We'll be back by supper. Bye, baby bear. Bye, Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> So they really don't notice. I think they noticed. They notice. But they really don't care. They care. Girl can't break into their house, your home. Break your toys, crack your chair. They choose not to notice. So there's nothing to say. I ought to stay silent. The truth keeps getting in my way. <sighs> Thinking back to a time long ago, before I was born. Lived a mean, very old, angry wolf. His wrath was his scorn. Then he huffed and he puffed blowing houses to the ground. Then he laughed, my Uncle Ernest, he hated this town. But he was just one wolf, just one and not all. And everyone noticed, nobody cared. The newspapers made out all wolves to be evil. No good wolves were spared. I live my life to change this life. You have to sing what you see, or the truth keeps losing out each time. Mom and Dad so determined for me to have friends around. If we could be loved by our neighbors, we might change this town. I had to be nicer than all to make sure they knew. <laughs> Wolves can be honest and kind, fit in with the group. But they said I was one more. Just one and not all, and everyone noticed. Nobody cared. This town seems to keep all its stories of wolves. What's next? Stories of bears. And there she was, as plain as day. I tried to happy songs the truth is getting in my way we must help to tell this tale or the truth will slip away Media does it again. 
Gold girl escapes home of savage bears. Are your children safe? Like those bears could hurt a fly. Innocent girl was last seen fleeing the home of mama, papa, and baby bear. Bovine media warns the public that these bears may be very dangerous. I'd be more afraid of my own shadow, let alone those bears. Girl is yet to be fully identified, but was wearing a distinctive gold bow in her hair. And was carrying a doll wearing the same distinctive gold bow. Well, I guess people are going to be worrying about us now. Perfect. That'll show them. So what do we do now? Just sit around and wait? Anyone got any better ideas? I've got a few ideas if you're interested. You're one of those snort reporters, aren't you? Do you write this junk? Where do you get your information from anyways? Look, I just thought you might like to know that Baby Bear just made his way over to the courthouse with his lawyer Wolf and is officially pressing charges against you, my dear. Pressing charges? What does that mean? <laughs> Means you're in big trouble, gold girl. Big trouble? Nothing about those bears spells big trouble to me. Baby Bear claims that he's an innocent victim and that you broke into his home. Well, your newspaper just said that I was the one who was attacked. I'm the innocent victim here. But I might recommend that you 
three for later, Sydney, and you can take that up again. All she wanted was a respite in the woods, and the wolf and the bear that were up to no good. Made life legalities, accentuate atrocities, all necessities of race and public ire. Agreed. Create accessory. Make it intense to cease, nor a force in the stories to gallery. We create the sensory. Make it intense to cease, nor a force in the stories of the century. <laughs> Thank you. 
seated. We are here today for the trial of Baby Bear versus Goldie. Baby Bear will be represented by Laura Wolf, and Goldie, against my better judgment, and I have excellent judgment, will be representing herself. I am Lady Justice presiding, and Goldie's case will be decided today by a jury of her peers. We will begin with opening statements, but I warn members of the public and the media, I will tolerate no antics in my courtroom. Ow! Lawyer Wolf, you may proceed. Imagine now a house of care built with love by these three bears. The smallest one led to believe his home was safe. Oh, Objection! Strike that from the record. Proceed, Lord Wolf. An angry youth moves through the door, destroys their home, and then ignores the consequences of her actions. Yeah, right! No more of these distractions! Baby Bear is bravely here defending what is right and dear to us all. Protection of his family home. Am I to believe he must fight this alone? That is all, Your Honor. Thank you, Lord Wolf. Goldie, your opening statement, please. I hope you'll find a place to forget. 
I'll show them 
you! I think you think you're gonna get away with this this time, don't you? Don't you? Well, guess what? Truth will be told this time. People will find out who you really are. Oh, yeah? I think they'll find out who you really are. Who your uncle was. Well, who do you think that is? Someone who cares about other people? Someone who thinks it's wrong to lie? Someone who respects other people's property? Hey, the clothes on that doll. Those are not yours. Where did you get that? These are mine. It was mine. It's a present. Let me see that. Let me see that here. Give it here. Stop! Enough, 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 enough. I've had enough with both of you. I am done with this. I am done with the truth. I am done with the lies. I am done with bovine media. I don't understand any of this. What do any of you want in this world? I mean, I know what I want. But I will have no more of this. What's going on? I, I, I am dropping all charges against Goldie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> what do you think of this new development? This baby bear dropping all charges. Does this mean you're innocent? Oh, did you do it? I. I. Oh. You heard it here first, folks. Goldie is so happy that her innocence has been proven that she is speechless. What a heroine! What a story of triumph! Actually, 
I could use your help. I was planning to uh, staple the arms back on myself, but <laughs> sewing seems to be the more appropriate option. Okay, here comes the hard part. Would you teach me? Boy, you sure you won't freak out on me? Well, I might, but don't call me Miss. The name's Goldie. Okay, Goldie. such a thing. Well, that's where you and I part ways, my friend. I can imagine many things, too many. But I was so close to the truth actually being known, justice actually being served. The truth, I can see your argument. But justice, who's to say? Yeah, well. I guess, I guess we know how this story goes, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> and if you two had asked us, we could have told you from the very beginning.
Thank you so much for watching the world premiere of Goldie. And we hope we've inspired you to get out there and do something similar in your neighborhood. <laughs>